guess you could say the motivation for my writing came from the need to rectify the literary abuse I endured as a child. The NPWG is known for our very high standards, and they do tend to give us a bit of an elitist reputation. We don't discriminate, though. We just prefer to exclude certain types of people. I think viewers would still like to know more about the choices or decisions you've made as a writer. You've attempted three times now to become part of the National Panel Writers Guild, or the NPWG. But why bother with such a high-profile organization when you're more of an indoor type? It's not that anyone doubts Elliot's capability. The sexy Legs was the first big thing that ever happened to me. And getting that poem published felt so good. It, it felt as if I was really doing what I was meant to do. But it didn't compare to the feeling I got when I finally completed The Dirty Sailor. I was never as determined as Mr. Elliot. The Dirty Sailor, in a grand sense, was about a, a living environment. Uh, or, well, it was about, in a grand sense, I guess, about a living environment that consumes all beauty. I took the sailor as a metaphor for hope. Oh, idiot. This isn't about me. I'm merely an extension of the guild. I merely critique to the guidelines. Sometimes, guild lines, we like to call them. Well, wh what's the symbol? That I can't write! Oh. Why has Warren Elliott not been accepted into the National Pen Writers Guild? Their realm was fraught with inadequacy. Each analyst compensating for their lack by punishing those who had the rest. A bunch of egotistical, dim-witted, oblivious fools who had no view of greatness because it hadn't slapped them in the face yet. I surprise myself sometimes. I was born to be a writer.